Hey guys, today we're talking all about contact lenses and the basics of what they are, what kind of designs they have, everything that you're gonna need to know going into contact lenses. If that interests you, stick around. Welcome to the Eye Care and Wellness Channel. I'm Joel Hayden. If we haven't met before, I'm an optometrist and nutritionist. We're gonna talk about all things eye care, eye nutrition, nutrition, wellness, how to live longer and better. And if that interests you, consider subscribing, hit that like button if you like what I have to say, and let's get at it. All right guys, so before we get started, I wanna talk about this really cool tool that patients can use to be able to see their own eye and tell the contact lenses there and make sure you could actually make sure that it's fitting okay and moving okay. It's really cool. And at the end of the video, I'm going to pop that product up and show you what it is. The tool is also really good if you have a stuck contact lens and need to know if the contact lens is there. So it can be really helpful and you can find it right on Amazon. The link will be down in the description below. So let's start with soft lenses. Soft lenses are made from a hydrogel material, which is a combination of plastic and water. And they conform to the shape of the eye. They're amazingly comfortable because of the water content. And they were developed pretty much in the 70s. Back in the 70s, they were pretty much yearly contacts. So you'd put the contacts in in the morning, take them out at night, and one pair would last you a whole year. So we tend not to fit yearly contacts anymore but that was the basis of how the soft lenses started. Next we have what some people call gas permeable lenses. Some people call them RGPs, which is short for rigid gas permeable lenses. They're not as comfortable initially for the patient, which is why so many patients would prefer soft lenses over the, the newer hard lenses. And that's what the gas permeables are. They're, the, they're a harder material and yet it's a newer, design and a newer material which breathes much better than the old hard lenses. So we will tend to use them for people who have a lot of astigmatism, who have severe dry eyes. I use them um, primarily people who just haven't had good luck with soft lenses. And I fit a lot of them even though I don't fit nearly as much as the soft lenses because that initial comfort is so much better. Soft lenses make up about 86% of the market. RGP or gas permeable lenses make up about 11% of the market, which leaves just a little sliver of 3% for other things like there's hybrid lenses, which have a hard center and a soft skirt that we use with, with um, people with certain corneal diseases. Some people still wear those old hard lenses called PMMA, which is polymethyl methacrylate. I tend to try to get those people out of those lenses because they just don't breathe well. So those are the types of the contact lens materials. Let's move on to the wear time of the contact lenses. So for wear time, some people will wear their contacts, they'll put them in in the morning, they'll take them out at night or take them out whenever they're done needing what they need of the contacts. and they will you know, go on the rest of their night with glasses, go to bed, get up in the morning, put the contacts back in and start the cycle all over again. Other people will wear what are called extended wear contacts where they put them in like on a Monday morning and they will wear them continuously, typically for about seven days. And then they will take them out for a night and give their eyes a break and do it again. Most most optometrists are not really big on fitting these types of lenses because they were popular back in the 80s and 90s and we saw a lot of patients who didn't have really good breathability with the lenses and the risk of corneal ulcers were higher, people were having drier issues, were having um, a lot of blood vessel growth into the cornea. So almost everybody, especially in my practice, almost everybody wears a daily wear lens. So they put them in the morning, take them out at night. So that's essentially what we have for options with our wear time. Okay guys, so now on to how often should you replace your lenses. Some people will put their contacts in in the morning, take them out at night and toss them. If you told me that was gonna happen 28 years ago when I started practicing, I wouldn't have believed you. 
but the dailies have really taken hold for many reasons. They are, they tend to be more comfortable. The manufacturers are putting much more technology into the newer dailies. They are great if you have any type of allergies. So that tends to make me drive my patients into dailies as well. And they're so much more convenient. You don't have to lug around a case and a bottle of solution and, you know, um, worry about what you're going to do traveling on a plane with a big bottle of solution that you can't take. So dailies make it much easier. The other modalities of wearing contacts, there are one to two week contacts. So you put them in the morning, take them out at night. They last about a week or two and then you throw them out and start all over again. And for those patients, they need a contact lens solution to store them in at night. If you want to see a video on the best contact lens solution that I think um, is out there, look at that video. Then there are also monthly contact lenses. And the monthly contact lenses, same thing. Put them in the morning, take them out at night, put them in solution. You do that continuously for 30 days, throw that pair out, start with a new pair. Again, people who have issues with allergies are gonna have more problems with either the one to two weeks or the monthlies. I also used to have a number of patients coming in every week with contact lens issues. Almost all of those patients have now been moved into dailies and I don't need to see nearly as many people now. That takes us to contact lens designs. So there's many different contact lens designs for most people. They are either nearsighted or farsighted and they need that correction fixed and spherical contact lenses will do the trick. So every contact lens manufacturer makes almost every line of their contacts in spherical powers. They usually will range from about a plus six to about a minus 12, minus 10 to minus 12. Some of them will expand in, into minus 20 and some of them will expand up to plus 10. But for the most part, plus six to minus 10 is standard. Then for the next design, we have lenses that correct astigmatism. They're called toric lenses. And the toric lenses are great if you have a moderate to a lot of astigmatism. If you have an awful lot of astigmatism, we're going to have to talk probably about a different type of lens. But they do a great job of correcting your vision and allowing a big part of the population that would normally not be able to wear contacts to wear contacts. So where the cornea is flatter, the lenses are a little bit thinner. Where the cornea is steeper, the lenses are a little bit thicker. And that produces a spherical front surface to the lens and the patients see great. Now for the people who are over 45 years old and they want to be able to see far away and up close, but they need reading glasses up close or they need some type of multifocal progressive eyeglass, they're going to want a multifocal contact lens. And they're out there. Those designs are made by almost every manufacturer. And they work really well if it's just beginning to be an issue, you know, that 45 to 50 year old range. But it's really tough because when you're using progressive eyeglasses, you're looking far away through the top of the lens and then you track your eye down through the lens where the lens power changes to the reading. But the problem with the multifocal contacts is that that lens doesn't move much on your eye. So when you look down, you're really looking through about the same part of the lens that you're looking at, looking through when you're looking far away. So it's a really big challenge for the contact lens manufacturers and that's why they're not perfect. So many times I will work with my patients, try to find out what their needs are, what they're really looking for. Let's say I have a postal worker who is delivering mail, needs to be able to see the houses, the house numbers, you know, traffic, because a lot of them are driving as, as while they're doing it, and yet they need to be able to sort that mail. It can be a real challenge to try to get that all in the contact lenses. So for some of them, they'll have to throw some reading glasses on over the top. But the multifocals should do that trick. It can be tricky. Expectations need to be set by your doctor. But 
I have many people happily in multifocals and the one person who's the happiest in the multifocals, I think, is me. And I have really gotten it to work well. I can drive to work in the morning with my multifocal contacts in, see the computer, everything I need to see all day. My only problem is driving at night, I have a little bit of a struggle. So they're daily multifocals, so I take them out if I'm gonna be driving late at night and then throw my glasses on. So for me, that works and it works out well. And then the last design type of the contact lenses is the color contact lenses, which many of you have seen. Most color contact lens wearers don't require a prescription. They just want to change their eye color. And there are a number of different uh, contact lens companies. Every, almost every major contact lens company makes a color contact. And they make them in different modalities. They can make them in daily wear. They can make them in monthlies. And I'm sure you've seen them. I'm not going to go too deeply into them, but they are very interesting and they can really change your appearance well. So I hope that was a pretty good overview of the contact lenses. The question becomes, what's right for you? And that's where you need to talk to your doctor. I would ask that you consider trying the daily contact lenses first because once you've tried the dailies, you really get a feel, maybe even 10 days, that's what I usually start my patients in, to really give them a good try. And I find that the patients just really like being able to take them out at night, throw them out, and every day is a new lens. And that's the thing, when you talk to monthly lens wearers about going into dailies, and you say to them, you know, you know how as a month goes on, you feel them more and more and more, and then, at the end of the month, you throw that pair out and you put that new pair in and, and it's the best day of the month with the lenses. And they're like, yeah, that's every day. That's every day in a daily disposable. So definitely try the daily disposables. For the best daily disposable, here is where I put the, um, the link to the video that I did on the best daily disposables. I've done many different uh, contact lens videos. So I'm gonna also put the link to my contact lens playlist. All right guys, so the product is called the iCheck and the iCheck is a newer device and if you see that little band in the middle, that's where you press on and you hold it right up to your eye and it's an illuminated mirror that allows you to see your whole eye and you can tell that the contact lens is there, that it's in place and you could probably even see the lens moving on your eye. It's really good if you think that you um, you were taking the contact lens out and you, you couldn't get it out. You know, is it there? Is it not there? The eye check is a really cool way to be able to get a good look at your eye. So you literally hold the device right up to your eye, push the button, and you can either close the other eye or keep it open, but you can actually see your own eye really magnified. It's actually kind of cool. For some, it's kind of freaky, but... I would suggest that if you're a new contact lens wearer, get your hands on one of these. It just takes a couple of batteries, comes with the batteries, and I find it really useful for a lot of my patients. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, consider subscribing, hit that like button, and until next time, take care.